Okay, so has anyone ever heard of robotics? Yes. Yes, do we know what robotics is? Yes. Engineering a robot. There you go. Okay, has anyone ever seen or touched a robot? No, we haven't. Um, actually, yes. they brought us yes, one of the hotels that I stayed at. For what? If they delivered your drinks, the robot did. Ooh. See, our world's ever changing and we're going more into computer science surveys. Okay. Does a robot ever truly hear you speak? No. I don't know. Uh, yes, the government watches us. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's based off your emotions. But they don't hear you. No. Like if I tell a robot to do something, well, probably not going to do it, just if I speak to the robot. No, that's like only in movies. Right, it's only in movies. Um, okay, and does a robot really understand what you say? No, no, it's programmed to. Like, it depends. If it's Alexa, then. Oh, okay. <laughs> if it's Alexa, true, true. Okay. Um, but a robot truly does not understand what you say the same as a human would. Okay. Um, robots operate more off of instructions, so you have to give the robot an instruction to do in order for them to go do it. Okay. Uh, whereas if I were to ask Eli to turn in his paper on Edmodo, he would know exactly what to do. With a robot, I've had to give them step by step instructions of how to do it. Okay? Um, and the series of instructions is called an algorithm. Okay? So that's a new vocabulary word. Okay? Uh, today we're going to learn what it takes to make that happen. So I'm going to throw some symbols on the board. Let me know if you'll get hot. No, not yet. Okay. All right. So what you're going to do in our exercise is you're going to write a set of instructions using only these symbols. So you only have six symbols. Okay. So what we're going to use is we're going to use these cups. And we're going to, I'm going to model for you what you're going to do. Okay. So this symbol right here just means pick up cup. Okay, you pick it up as high as it can. This means put down. This arrow means move it right. But when you move, keep getting my right and left combined. <laughs> move it right. Okay, but when you move it right, it's only a half of a cup width. Okay. This one, you move it left, still half of a cup width. Yes, but I'm trying to, okay. That way. Only once that it's sideways. Yes, 90 degrees. Okay. And then 90. Okay. And then this one is that way. I don't whatever that way that is to go. It's my left. So, so I guess it would be all right. Okay. Alright, so for example, we're going to make one of these designs. We're just going to do this first one, this simple one. Okay, and I'm actually going to move the cups over so I don't have to keep them left and right. Okay, so what's the first thing I'm going to do? Pick up the cup. Pick up cup. Okay, so I'm going to write an arrow as I'm picking up the cup. Then what am I going to do? Move it up right. <coughs> Two times. Right, I'm going to move it right twice. Then what? Down. Down. Put down. Okay. Now, over here, we see that I have space over here. However, typically when you write yes, you go from left to right. But since I'm starting with a new cut, I'm going to come down to my next line. Okay. So what am I going to do with my next cut? Pick up cut. Pick up cut. Somebody want to come help me? And hold the cups. Yes. All right. <laughs> Thank you. All right. So we pick up cup. Then what are we doing? Moving it. Well, right. Twice. Three times actually. Right. All right. Four times. Four. Two. Wait. This makes Right. Four. Okay. So up. Up. You mean no. sideways? Sideways. Yes. Sideways. Yes. <laughs> yes, I do. 
we picked up. One, two, three, four. And then what? Down. Put down. Okay? Then what's she going to do? Pick up the cup. Up. Then what? Move right three times. One, two, three. Then what? Drop cup. Drop cup. Okay. Is that one up? Yeah. All right. <coughs> Go ahead. Okay. So now, you all each have a piece of paper and you all have a piece of pencil. <laughs> a piece of pencil. <laughs> a piece of pencil. <laughs> okay, you all have a pencil. All right, so, what you're going to do, one of you is going to decide who's the red one. Oh, well, it kind of works better. What? We're partners. No, no, no. Oh, Just one out of you four is the red one. Um, yeah. Go outside. Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> I do that. They are creating a set of instructions that you will have to come in and follow. Okay. So just wait right out there. Okay. So y'all can gather around. Y'all can stand up. Or, you know, where, choose wherever you want to go. Are you all right there? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> So, using one of these, you're going to write a set of instructions for Eli to follow. For some reason, You want to do this? Okay. I don't know. I think this one. Okay. Y'all pick it. And then write the instructions. Will the average this? Turn Remember, you can only use those six instructions. Those six symbols. Y'all cannot say a word to him. Okay. Okay. 
there. Answer any questions. You are not allowed to ask them any questions. All four. You are just supposed to follow their instructions. Yes. Is he going to All four. Oh, uh, okay. I got no, it. he's going yes. there. Well, I'll probably get one. <laughs> Tell you what these are. Okay, what are this? Rotate it 90 degrees. <laughs> no, uh, keep going. Right, so you rotate 90, and you rotate 90. Oh. Just go up until okay, yeah. like all the way up. But you can do two ups if <laughs> I didn't really explain that, so that's my fault. It's one up, and then what would be like three? Yes, yeah. yeah. Why took that so long for mine? Are we ready? <laughs> oh, for one, it took us forever to like pick which one we want. Yeah, what do you mean? We were already built both of them, I'm trying to figure out which one would be on. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Uh, one thing I failed to explain is when you pick up, you know, it goes how's your cue. Okay. All of the instructions.
Good job. Okay, she had practice. She knew how she to do the first. Come on. I, okay. I actually forgot the I know, I was like, mm, Mine was a trial and error run. Okay, so do we see how important it is to give a computer a specific set of instructions? Yes. That's, that's how we learn um, when we call something a bug. It's not really an actual bug in a computer. It's a flaw in our program that we have.